I really don't want to be that guy that says I told you so, but uh, I told you so. You know what? That felt better than I thought it would. I guess I want to be that guy. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. You got a choice. You got talent. You got a chance, and I won't hear about your environment, what your mama didn't give you, and the white man won't give you no shot. You got a chance. Use it while you're still alive. You don't know what death is. You have no idea what death is. What's up, everybody? So I'm letting everybody know that I canceled my whole tour. The American dates is not happening. It's not going down. Austin, Texas, I think I was supposed to be there today. I'm not going to there. I spoke to the promoters, Jose Avila, with Avila Music. We are going to be in business. I am coming back to Austin, Texas. I fired everybody in my team. I got no manager. I got no booking agent, no PR, no public. I don't got nobody on my team. It's just me. I want everybody to know if you're booking shows, do not book shows unless I say... This show is going to be booked with this person. They will steal your money. They're not me. I'm not signing no fucking contracts. That don't got nothing to do with me. Whoever is booking shows for Takashi 69 is stealing your fucking money. So if you meet shows, I will let people know that I'm booking shows. Or if you're not on the phone with me, do not book that show because it's not me. I fired everybody. I don't give a fuck who you used to see me with. They no longer around. It's a fucking dub. November 23rd, the album drop. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? I so, yeah. So 6 9 decided that he was going to, I'm not even going to call this a rant. You want to know why I'm not going to call this a rant? Because if you were really listening, he dropped so many just bombs. He let you know exactly what was going on. If you really paying attention, he's telling you who he's talking to. Okay, the first thing that I want to address is he says if anybody is booking shows and he's he's not he's talking to the uh you know the people who book shows the promoters. He's saying that if anybody is booking shows for him and you're not on the phone with him, don't trust him. Remember when Takashi 69 was supposed to be I think at Howard or something like that, whatever college that was, and instead of going to that college, he went to um do the uh the powerhouse concert the powerhouse show remember that he never signed on to do the howard concert never that was somebody else that signed on for that that's somebody else that signed on for that and took the front end of whatever that deal was he never signed on for that that's why he didn't show up okay now, also, if you've been following Takashi 6 ix IG, you would notice that often he's been seen in, like, a lot of, like, I, I don't want to say Dominican clubs or whatever, but he's been seen with a lot of um, Latino, Latino people, right, in the clubs and things like that. That's basically how he got onto Powerhouse because he went on to Powerhouse with um, the, the, the act that he went on was with a Latino act, right? So think about it like this. Who is someone who can call up promoters, represent themselves like they're dealing with Takashi, and promoters will believe them and send a check? Who? Right? Remember when we were trying to realize or try to understand what that beef was on um, 5th Ave and 59th Street? Remember when we was trying to realize what the beef was? Yo, why was there a beef? Why was there a problem? One of the things that I always assumed was he was supposed to be picking up some money. They didn't give him no money. Maybe they weren't giving Takashi money because they didn't want somebody else to take the money from Takashi. That's neither here nor there. I'm not saying that that's what it was. I'm just saying. He says he fired everyone. Everyone that you have ever seen him with, he's fired. So that basically saying that he's not he's not running with them Treyway dudes no more, right? 
A couple of days ago, they came out publicly and said Takashi 69 was never signed to Treyway, correct? They came out publicly and said, because uh, let's just be honest, as far as everybody knew, Takashi 69 was a Treyway artist for a long time. For the majority of this year, people believe that Takashi 69 was a Treyway artist. Besides the fact that Treyway is constantly being screamed out by Takashi and the people around him, Treyway also um, had the individual that works for Treyway, Shadi, who was claiming to be the CEO. He was the manager the next day. I don't know what the fuck. He's the baggage handler the next day. I don't know the computer tech. It's like he he's he's just Treyway all the way. He does he he sends out the mail. He does everything. Anyway, the point being is this: Takashi doesn't want anyone to get the misunderstanding that. He's going to do a tour, a show for them and send other people the money. Right? Because he's saying, if you don't hear from me, it ain't me. Right? Remember when, and, 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 and I'm right now I just want to reference things that I said. So just hold on with me. Bear with me for a second. Remember when Slim 400 Stop Takashi and his people. I'm not going to say stop them, but caused the ruckus in front of the building that then Takashi and his people had to acquiesce to and just leave the leave the arena at the Complex Con. Remember how people kept saying that Shadi looked scared? And I kept saying, I don't think Shadi was scared because I don't think Shadi was thinking that he was he was in a uh, situation that could cause him harm. I didn't think Shadi felt like he was like this was a situation where his he might get hurt or his life was in danger. So I'm saying he didn't that wasn't fear. I said it looked to me more like he was thinking. You understand what I'm saying? Like um something was going down, something was happening, and there's a good chance that he, you know, was busy there, like, oh man, like, you know, he needed something to happen and it wasn't about to happen. Right? Because think about it like this. Takashi, okay, for everybody that don't know. Artists need to do shows. That's how you get money. A lot of the artists, when they sign record deals, they sign away so much of the earnings that they make through um, the album sales and nowadays through streaming that they need to do shows in order to recoup. Takashi can't do shows. One of the main reasons why Takashi can't do shows is because he's beefing with everybody. So now when they show up to Complex Con, an event where they should have been able to do the show because there would have been requisite security there to make sure that there wasn't going to be any problems. In addition to that, they show up with their own security and they're turned away. And then you think about just a couple of weeks earlier, they had the situation where they didn't go down to Howard University or what, whichever school that was. I don't know what school it was. It probably wasn't Howard. I mean, somebody correct me in the, in the comment section. But they didn't go to collect that money. He decided on his own to go do a show that he wasn't even going to get paid for. Think about it. Just think about it. Who's been booking shows that he knows nothing about? That he's not a part of? Think about it. Anyway, another thing he says is that he fired everyone. Everyone is fired. You know why I believe that he fired everyone? Because he has to let the court know that he has cut ties with these people. When I say these people, I'm saying specifically Treyway. He has to let the court know that he cut ties with Treyway, specifically. Okay? So that's why I believe he's coming out openly and saying that he has fired everyone. It's him. He's not with nobody over here. He's not with nobody over there. I, I believe he still has his security and all of that. But he let everybody know. Second, another reason why I think that it's a good chance that he did this was is because there's a lot of shenanigans going on. I, for one, believe that Takashi loves his baby mama. I just believe that he does. I believe that a lot of the things that Takashi has done to get noticed or, you know, the, the, the shenanigans, the foolishness that has been going on has been other people's ideas. This is just what I believe. I believe other people comes up with things that he should do, that he should go do, and they direct his career. And then he goes and does these things. And a lot of these things that he's going to do makes his baby mama, who I believe he loves, look bad. So I believe this is two and threefold. I can be wrong. 
But this is stuff that I have been saying. This is not nothing new. Also, he says he canceled the whole tour. The American dates are not happening. Okay? He didn't book that tour. So nine times out of ten, there's shows on that tour. Nine times out of ten, he didn't book any of that tour. The people who he were with before booked that tour. So now they have to worry about whatever monies that they've already collected, if they've collected any money from the people that they collected the money with. He is totally distancing himself from anybody who has had anything to do with his career publicly. Also, also, the point that I'm trying to make about people is stealing his money. Remember, I've been telling people for the longest that Takashi is not making the money that he should make. Because there's been a ton of people in the comment section telling me about how wrong I was. Remember, I've been saying that for the longest. I've been saying this from the rip. Partly because I know how artists get paid. And partly because if you look at me, you can look at Takashi, understand the money that he generate, and then see his lifestyle. You understand what I'm saying? And you can know that he's not making, the, he's not getting the money that he's supposed to be getting. Not trying to knock the little homie. I really not. But when you're on IG eating ramen noodles with your daughter, you're supposed to have millions of dollars. You can't be serious. Anyway, so he says that he's not doing the whole tour. The means, reason why I think he's not doing the tour is because he did not book that tour. That's one. Two, he let all of the people know, look, anybody that's do that 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 um that that booked for that tour, any of these people that booked them for that tour, he has nothing to do with that. That's somebody else basically go deal with them. Second thing, he talks about the tour, I think, down there in Texas somewhere, right? He talks about that tour, right? That might be the only date that he actually booked. Get it? Get it. People have been using this boy to make money. He's just been, I'm not even going to say a puppet at this point. They've been literally stealing from him. Literally. And also, just to close this out, I think the reason why he's coming about it the way that he just came about it in that, in that, in that, the clip that I played is because he want people to know all of the people that he's done pissed off, all of the people that he disrespected, all of the craziness that was going on, that was not me. It wasn't me. These are the things that the people had me do, had me say. That's what it seems like to me. That's what this little clip that, that, that he has says to me. I don't know what it's saying to anybody else. Leave the comments down below. Tell me what y'all guys think about this. But I've been saying that this man is not getting his money. I've been saying this. I mean, I could really break it down for you, but I've been saying this. I've been saying this. I broke it down numerous different times, actually. So leave it down in the comment section what y'all think is going on with this. But quite honestly, um, you got to think about it like this. The individual that just got arrested for allegedly, allegedly, Robbing him of his chains, the kidnapping they didn't even fucking mention. I did a video on that. I advise anybody that sees this video to go back and watch that video. This is a Kashi playlist. I've been saying all of this stuff for the longest. But the individual that 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 uh they have arrested for stealing those chains used to actually be part of his team. The individual actually was at the at the um uh LAX when the fight happened. He's separating himself from all of these people. He's trying to make it so now he can go out and do stuff. That shooting that happened, it was not staged, y'all. Stop thinking all of the shenanigans revolving around this guy is staged. They're not. That shooting was not staged. And now we have to leave into question who actually did the shooting. Because for those that don't know, that was Takashi's room until he decided to leave. Also, 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 I dropped a video a couple of months ago, about a month ago, when uh, uh, the Treyway manager, uh, Shadi, had put out on the Instagram uh, a, a, a cryptic tweet that basically was saying, keep your mouth shut. That's basically what it was saying. It was actually a veiled threat, in my opinion, for Takashi 6 ix 9 to keep his mouth shut. 
I don't think he's keeping his mouth shut. I think he realizes the danger that he's actually in. This isn't the 80s. This isn't the 90s. This is a different era. You just cannot be death row. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.